Hey, I'm William. Today we're going to show you how to test and replace the motor stator on your Samsung top load washer. If you're experiencing problems such as your washer not spinning, unusual noise during cycles, or your machine failing to agitate properly, it might be time to check or replace this crucial part. Now before we jump into it, remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more straightforward and helpful appliance repair guides. Let's get started and get your washer running smoothly again. With over 2 million products in stock and the know-how to help you do it yourself, we are AppliancePartsPros.com. For today's work, we'll need a multimeter, a 17mm socket, and a 10mm socket, and you may also want to grab some tape. Also, please remember that safety comes first. Always disconnect your washer by unplugging it or switching the breaker off. Before leaning it back, let's go ahead and get that lid taped shut. To do this, I'm going to set this washer on its back, but you can just lean the washer backwards if you want. Then we are grabbing our 17mm socket and removing the rotor mounting nut. With that removed, we are pulling the motor rotor away from the tub. We are grabbing our 10mm socket and removing the mounting bolts of the motor stator. With those removed, we are disconnecting the wires and grabbing our meter. Setting our meter to resistance, which looks like an upside down horseshoe, we are testing all three terminals of the motor stator. The resistance reading on this specific motor stator should be around 9 ohms. If it is not near this resistance, like we see here, then the motor stator has failed and would need to be replaced. If you'd like to know more about how to use a multimeter, we put together a comprehensive tutorial for you, so check out the link in the description. Since we found the motor stator has failed, let's go ahead and get it replaced. Here's the old motor stator and here's the new one. If you've already got one, great. If not, you can pick one up at AppliancePartsPros.com. We are connecting the wires and securing the motor stator to the tub using the 10 millimeter bolts we removed earlier. Now we are attaching the motor rotor to the drive shaft and securing it with the 17mm nut we removed. With everything secure, we can tilt the washer back onto its base. If you taped your lid shut, don't forget to remove it. Once you plug your washer back in or turn that breaker on, you're done. Great job getting your Samsung top load washer back in action. We'd love to hear how your repair journey went, so please share your experiences in the comments below. And if you still need a replacement motor stator or any other part, just find your model number and visit AppliancePartsPros.com. Most orders arrive within just a few days. Thanks for choosing us to assist you with your repair, and we'll see you on your next do-it-yourself project.